Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter, the game where we've been turning this old wrinkly nut of a planet into a lovely habitable earth-like planet. And last time, despite us collecting the world's strongest trophy, as well as now having infinite oxygen, as you can see in the bottom left, uh, we still managed to die whilst exploring the new update. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go jump down here outside. We're going to head over to these two machines and these produce water. So literally, if I just grab, if I grab eight water, surely I cannot die while exploring now. Right, and then before we go exploring, it's probably worth getting like a load of new stuff because as we know, I've got I've got a lot of resources in these lockers. Uh, lots of iridium bars, uranium rods, loads and loads of rocket engines. So it's probably worth setting down all my stuff here. So I'm going to drop my eggplant, drop my water there, and I'll drop these two warden keys. Oh, wow. Once they're in your inventory, they are in your inventory. Okay. Uh, by the way, why is it why is it gone purple? What's going on? Let me just head up this ladder and see what is why is it so purple? There's no there's no meteorite strikes coming in. Right, well anyway, let's get back down and let's have a little look at all the different rockets we can send up. Now we know you want to focus on biomass and plants and things. So there is that one which requires seed lerma. I think everything else I should be able to get pretty easily. And the seed spreader should be okay as well, depending on the mutagen and bacteria. Uh, and I think the other ones will be fine. So first off, I'm going to head over here. We're going to head underwater and we're just going to collect up loads of algae because we're going to need that to make bacteria and mutagen. So nom, 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 nom. So that is all the algae taken from under the water. You can see our inventory is nearly full. So let's head back up with all of that and we'll go via this little thing because this has methane, which I think we need to make the mutagen as well. So back up to my base, head over to the mutagen locker because, oh look, I've already got some bacteria samples. I think we we'll have to grab some of this water. Yeah, I'm, I know we're meant to be using it to survive later on, but desperate times mean desperate measures. So mutagen, we just need ooh, some sulfur for that as well. So we'll make some mutagen. We'll make some bacteria. Ooh, bacteria. -y. And then we just got to have a look through all of these and see if we have any seed lerma. Oh, there's loads in here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good for the seed lerma then. So it's just a case of grabbing a load of super alloy. And then we can come to the launch platform where we should have the resources to launch a few rockets. So seed spreader rocket, there it is. Now I can really imagine spreading some seed with that. It's got like a pumpkin head in it. A pumpkin, a pineapple head. Damn Halloween getting in my brain. Uh, we're then going to launch that and then I'm going to try and glitch it out by launching another one. Oh, I haven't got enough tree bark. Well, unfortunately, that's a successful launch. That's not what you want to see in this game. Anyway, back into our base. We'll, we need to go into each nut of our base now. So we'll grab a couple of tree barks and then a couple from the left testicle as well. we'll then grab a few more rocket engines. And then we've got everything we need to launch three more rockets, but we are missing fertilizer T1. Now in here, we can make that with algae, eggplants and sulfur. So we'll grab some algae, grab some sulfur. And thankfully, we do have a stockpile of eggplants. So we'll grab a couple of those as well. Quickly make some fertilizer, grab all of these for the road. And then hop down here where we can send some more pineapple stalks into space. But, oh, why is there uh, Why is there a seagull toe on my button? Anyway, we'll launch that. I'm going to spawn another one inside. And then that should be carnage. Ready, spawn. Oh, I just got away. Have they updated that? That might be part of the update. So we can't mess about with that anymore. That would be disappointing. Okay, let's try and be quick here. So launch, click that, launch the next one. So hopefully that will spawn in the arse end of the rocket. Yes, yes, they haven't fixed it. Good work, devs. Right, we'll launch the other one and then like two... Two flies getting it on. They're heading off. Lovely. Another another successful launch. So if we head back to my desk, you can tell it's my desk, can't you? Uh, in this computer, it should tell us how far off. Yeah, on the biomass, we've got two things to unlock now. The insect spreader rocket, which is at 17.7 .7 kilotons of biomass. We're, we're nearly at 11. And then the drill T5, which is at 29. We actually, that's not going up very quickly, to be honest. And uh, then we've also got the plants and the insect ones that also have new things to unlock as well. Uh, I really, I want to get to the drill T5, though. I want a big boy drill. So in order to get biomass, what can we build to do that? I was going to say, it's probably going to be the tree spreader, which I remember were pretty expensive. That gets us 680 plants a second. Uh, however, it might be cheaper just to get beehives. Although we do need bee lava for that, and we know how rare that stuff is. All right, well, anyway, I'm I, I'm pretty happy with those numbers. Let's go explore, because we started exploring last time, and then we got, we got a little bit lost. So we're going to head 
to this cave where we've got drills set up and stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna keep going past all that. We're gonna head outside. I am gonna have a quick slurp of water. We're gonna head up here into this cave where the door was. And if you watched last time, you remember we put the warden's key on there, and that opened this huge door, which had literally been there like since one of the first videos I did in this game. Uh, so it's nice to see what's finally down here. It was basically an old ancient civilization. Ah, oh, and this is where my jetpack runs out. So there's no flying about down here. But yeah, over the golden brick road, which actually people, they were quite they were quite shocked at my review score for that. Uh, they expected a higher score. And I mean, it's got, it's got no safety rails. There's not actually really anything structural about it. It's just a couple of slabs. Hence the score wasn't great. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we found last time. A huge underground like city thing. I think we explored that building. Uh, we had a little look over here, but obviously not too much because apparently I did miss some more stuff. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little another explore. Oh yeah, so this was the sun room. Uh, doesn't it like there's anything else in here? Just the out really bright light. Oh look, I can see. I think that's where I was meant to go along with this. It's sort of a sort of a bridge. I don't think it's bridge enough to be worthy of a bridge review. I think it's more like a platform or a walkway. But uh, look, ooh, we're on this roof. So what do we have? Ooh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So we have new coordinates and we have another... Oh, wait. I say we have another key. I can't... Why can't I pick that up? Game. Am I not meant to pick that up? Well, if I go looking for this coordinate and I find out that I need that, I'm going to be pretty mad. I'm not going to lie, game. What if I flashlight it? Come. Oh, ooh. oh my God, that actually worked. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've got three warden's keys. That was so lucky. <laughs> uh, and we're going to go find that coordinate. So if you look in the bottom left, we're currently 661 28 2104. Uh, we've got to go find those coordinates. So first off, let's head out of here. Goodbye, bridge. It was nice knowing you. All right, so just up these stairs and then we're back out. Right, so those coordinates, we need 1,500 for the first one, 2,500 for the last one. So I feel like it might be this direction. So this was like a, a new area they added with the previous update. Yeah, hence, it's probably a fairly good place to hide something like that if I was thinking like a game developer and not a Martian. So back up. Do you remember these? We used to have to go in these to like get some air and stuff. Not anymore, not with our infinite oxygen. Um, we do have this though, we can zoom out quite far and just see... Yeah, so nothing else has actually been added to the map. I was actually, I was hoping there might be like grid lines so I could see where the coordinates were. We're sort of close, but we're not close enough, if that makes sense. So we're at 2500 on that last coordinate. It's just the first one is a bit high. Actually, the second one's spot on as well. So basically, we're, like, we're probably like 100 meters in a direction. Shall we have a look over... Oh, oh, <laughs> here we go. Okay, then. So that is the the warden's altar, and that needs the three warden's keys. So we shove them in. And... Oh, my goodness. There's a whole rock falling down. Whoa, look at them as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more impressive, that or that. Anyway, these rocks, they're revealing something, something new. I guess this is another, like, civilization area or something. So we'll move a bit closer. That rock is literally just going into the ground. Interesting. If I stand on that, will I shake? No, not really. It's gone anyway. Right, so here we are. Completely brand new area to explore. Now, they seem to like their obelisks, these uh, these Martians, don't they? Anyway, quite tree-ish down here. Pretty sure that's a technical term. Oh, look, hydration level is low. So I'm going to... Now I've got water on me. I'm actually going to have a little slurp of water. And then we'll carry on this way around here. We've got like a little lake thing. We've got a load of greenery up there. Look at this. Oh, and look at this. Oh, boy. Look at this bridge. Oh, boy. Here we go again. That needs a bridge review. Made up of a few dozen wooden planks and joints tied together with fibrous rope. This bridge spans a small gap. However, it was so distracting that Matt didn't even see that was behind it. There's a cog up there and everything. Not only that, but this bridge has special powers. You see, if we look at it and walk this direction, you'll see it disappears. And then when you walk back towards it, it's still not there. It's gone. However, keep walking. And there it is. Don't worry. 
The bridge is always there. You just need to believe. So overall, I give this bridge a review score of 6.3 out of 10. Bridge review. Wow, look at this, man. This is cool. So we're going to go have a little wander around. There's it's like a, it's a water wheel. It's not a cog. Uh, where do we go? I can see there's a little wooden ramp there. Or we can go up the main stairs. Go have a look in. Oh, look, we got we got some writing. Oh, once we lived. Okay, interesting. <laughs> oh, there's another. There's a warden's altar. That needs five keys. Okay, looks like we're going to go exploring for five keys. So here's one. Oh, look, the water wheel. I've climbed up quite high to uh, get up here. I uh, haven't found another one yet. What? Oh, wow, that is bright. Blooming out. <laughs> Why is that so bright? <laughs> So that is a vine I can climb. I'm just going to have a little look around here first. There was nothing. So let's climb it. So now we're even higher and we found the second one. So we'll grab that. Uh, head of a view from up here. Like fair play. Look at all this. Anyway, we'll head back down and we'll have a little explore of the other side. I feel like I'm exploring where I'm not meant to be exploring. Anyway, we made it to some ramps that are going to lead us up. And oh my goodness, is that the strongest shape bit of wood structure? Like that can't just be me. That can't just be me, surely. And I can't stop thinking about it and I'm obsessing about it. I want to think about anything else but that. Anyway, we found another one. So we'll take that. I thank you all. And I think we'll do some exploring, like, of the grounds around. So, what if... Oh, look, I literally... I found one straight away. Nice. So, that means there's just one more to find. Oh, and it's just down here out in the open. Okay, so we'll grab that. That is all five. So, we can come up to here, shove them in there. And then... Oh, we've got this door opening. Look at the stack of that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so impressed with that, but I really am. Oh, no. Something tells me it's gonna... There's gonna be a lot of sulfur in there. It looks eggy. Anyway, only one way to find out, I guess. There's a lot of... There's a lot of plantage falling down. And what is out here? <gasps> golden butterflies. Ooh. So, oh, wow. Look at this. There's two golden crates. Oh, there's another golden effigy thing. And the golden butterfly lava. 1,500% multiplier. As well as some mutagen T2. Ooh, an osmium rod. I don't even know what they make yet. But we'll grab all of that. And we'll deconstruct the crate as well. There's pretty much the exact same stuff in the other one. So we'll grab all that. I don't actually care for mushroom seeds. Uh, but I do care for deconstruct constructing the golden crate uh, and then we have this other message oh so this was talking about the meteor you know the one in the iridium crater thing and basically these martians they just accepted their fate rather than trying to get off the planet and run away they're like sod it we've had enough our story will disappear under the ashes of flames and dust but it didn't some of it survived and i'm reading it now um so yeah that's what that's what happened to them then man look at that that's really cool i tell you what i'm gonna be a bit cheeky i'm gonna mash f4 which is the unstuck button uh yeah there's <laughs> this is quite outside the map apparently um oh no i'm trapped i'm trapped there's an invisible floor oh no the unstuck thing only works upwards and not downwards right well hopefully i can is there not like a different unstuck am i literally stuck stuck here now Oh, poo. Okay, well, I've really broken this game. Okay, I'm on top of the walkway. I assume this was the arch that I came in on. Oh, dear. This this game's not happy. All right, we're out. We're out. Oh, never in doubt. Never in doubt. All right, let's get out of it. Um, I think we, we've pretty much fully explored everything. So we just got to get back before we get too hungry and die. And we should be able to see the bridge on our way. There it is. And uh, yeah, we'll just head back to base. All right, we're back outside because our jetpack is working now. So, so we'll just head this way. And then we should be home in no time now there is one other thing i want to do i, I remember do you remember last time we unlocked like it was like a fusion cell or something and i think i can if i go like inside these spaceships i think i can like power them on uh, but i think once we get back it'll be worth doing now thankfully with our teleports oh my goodness the <laughs> oh the eggplant bridge has ruined this save file it's not good anyway back to the the home base and we'll fill up all of our lockers all right and then i got two things i want to do i think i want to teleport to the bilf i'll never get old at looking at this bridge it's beautiful although why is it gone red are there asteroids incoming anyway over here these are all of our butterflies <laughs> it's so much no wonder the game hates me um and we're gonna we're gonna take out that butterfly fenzia lava because that's got an insect multiplier of 200 and if we get rid of that and place this instead the golden one you can see that insect multiplier is 1500%. So well worth doing. And you can clearly see the golden butterflies floating about. Maybe. Probably. Let's grab another one of these. Oh, that one's an 800%. I want to find just a, a low percentage. 175, yeah. We'll take that out. We'll shove the golden one in. I'm going to drop these lavas because I, I don't like carrying them. They're kind of creepy. So now we've got some golden butterflies in there. And that's increasing our insect multiplier as well. 
Yeah, I am just going to come to this beehive and grab honey. I think I do actually need honey for something now. But yeah, back at my desk, I've got more of these effigies to uh, put down. So I need to I need to find some more like rod ones. I guess there's no harm prepping the desk for when I do actually find them. I assume I am going to find more rods, right? Surely, surely game. Anyway, the biomass has not gone up by a lot, but I will get to that. But first, I want to build these fusion energy cells. So I need a load of pulsar quartz, osmium and super alloy. Thankfully, we have quite a lot of these saved up so we can build a couple of them. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, we've built two of them. And then I think if I remember correctly down here, there was actually a, I was about to say a spaced crash ship, but that isn't the right way to say that sentence, Matt. A crashed spaceship. <laughs> Uh, somewhere over these, yeah, so here, I think. Yeah, so in here, I'm pretty sure, if we turn our flashlight on, uh, if we explore all the way to the end, oh my goodness, it's underwater. Oh man, I'm actually, I'm underwater, and look what I've just realised, my O2 level, I can breathe underwater. I think the game sort of forgot that you haven't grown gills, you're not meant to be amphibious, but um, apparently I am. Anyway, look, this was what I was looking for, the fusion reactor. So if we come in there and put a fusion energy cell in, is that doing something? Oh, it's locked in. Is there like a button around here or something? Okay, well that was a bit of a anticlimax. I won't I won't lie. Did that do anything? Did that turn on this warp gate or something? No, that literally it did nothing. That actually did nothing. Oh, that sucks. Well, that was a waste of resources. I'll tell you what though, there uh, there's definitely some more. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go investigate and see if the others do anything. So we'll head up this way. And then we'll head into this spaceship. Aha, and after a bit of exploring, we found this. So another one, let's shove that in, see if this one does anything. It, it literally did, it did nothing again. It did nothing again. Do you think I have to do like all the crashed spaceships for it to do something? Or does it just not do anything? I mean, to be fair, in the lore, it said the planet's like, it's stopping any things from working. Uh, oh, is there still like parts of this unexplored? <laughs> oh, I've never been up here. Oh man, look at all this. Oh, I found some more wreckage to deconstruct. Oh man, we're going to get another chest. Nice. <laughs> this was a good find. Oh, look at all that stuff. Right, grab all of that. We can't even fit it all in. We can put the iron back. And then I've got loads of rods inside me, which feels awesome. Anyway, I don't have any fusion cells on me. So we're going back to home sweet home. Because uh, I want to build some new stuff. I haven't built one of these yet. A heater T5. So that makes four and a half thousand heat. I'll tell you what. If we compare that to the very first heat, that made 0.3 heat a second. So we need some iridium rods, some super alloy rods, and then some explosive powder. All right, and if we just like come over to here, we can build the very first heater. So that is a heater T1. Oh, and it's so beginner level, it doesn't even go outside, does it? So that's the heater T1. It's absolutely tiny. Now that was considered an achievement building one of them at the very start of this game. But now we can afford the heater T5. And oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. So yeah, if we just plonk that down. Oh. <laughs> that is insane. I was literally not expecting something to be that big. <laughs> oh man. Um, You may have seen as well, our power went out there as well. I assume that takes a lot of power. Yeah, 360 kilowatts a second. So it's probably worth, since I have so many uranium rods... Building a few more nuclear reactors. So I'll shove one there. There you go, power's restored. And I'll shove one there and one there. And now we have some very efficient equipment on our planet. Right, anyway, guys, we're going to call it there. Yeah, I think I need to do some off-cam grinding to try and get my plants up. I want to get the new drills because if that's the T4 and it went to a T5 on the heater, imagine how big the drills are going to be. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and shaftless statues. Bye, guys!